Hello, hello, hello. Supercross here. Back to play The Long Dark. And, uh, shoot. Hello, hello, hello. Supercross here. Back. I actually checked to see whether that was muted, and it was muted. Twitch decided to unmute it. Uh, at any rate, let's get that uh, mistake out of the way. Um, turn this off. I think we're ready to begin. So there's a new patch. The Long Dark just patched uh, today. <coughs> and as my understanding is that they've added uh, cooking. The uh, consensus is a little... Well, there is no consensus on whether it's any good. But um, there seems to be a thought you can pick up a cooking pot. Uh, so see this fire uh, barrel has a grill on it. So I, I'm not really sure exactly how it works. Um, if you don't have a cooking pot, do you die? There, there's something called a tin can as well. I don't know how to get the tin can. Um, but I thought we'd look around here if we see any pots. We've seen plenty of pots in this game, but uh, you couldn't pick them up until now. So we might not be able to find one, and I don't know what that means for us. Um, I'm hoping the tin can comes from free, because I'm not really sure I've seen it as any. They said that they fixed the initial. They said that, um, yeah. So you saw that there's a pause at first, uh, that first time we accessed a container, and I, I'd called that out before. It's always slow the first time. They said that they fixed it. I read through the patch. And it's, uh, they clearly didn't. Um, makes me wonder. I mean, the, the patch has to be applied because there's a grill on the, on the barrel. So this would be, this could be a cup, but it's not. Um, I'll pick those up. I don't see a pot. pot. Alright, so this could be really interesting. It might actually just... Dehydrate. Let's see how much water we have. Hey, many more tow. Welcome back. What's going on? Right, so we've got a good supply of water. Um, I think what we should do is try to just make water, and hopefully it'll let us. Um... How am I? I'm fine. I am doing well. Uh, tired. But uh, otherwise, good. Um, so I was talking about uh, Long Dark just patched. And they changed how food and uh, water works. And we might not be set up to, to deal with this. So. Maybe you get a maybe you get a tin can once you eat something with a tin can. Hopefully we have hopefully we have something with a tin can. Uh, hey, we can get the caption. We turned off her voice because she talks too much. But I was hoping at least for the caption. Just chilling. Um, cool. Thanks for hanging out, children. It's a pretty chill game. So, we can't do anything. 
So there's no there's no button for anything. Gathering snow or um, this could be bad. So I'm hoping to get a tin pan from eating. Um, a tin can full of food. Otherwise, uh, we might have to do a little Googling. Not looking forward to going back to work tonight. Which nights off. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Wait, you can't even... You can't even warm up the peaches? I feel like something's wrong. Wait, recycle can. Did that take our... Didn't take our cans. Okay. Can only melt 0.13 at a time. The nice thing, so the nice thing is we can walk away from it. But we, I guess we need a cooking pot. We only have one recycling pan, so that lets you. All right, so we need to get a cooking pot somehow. This one can lets us cook a very small amount of water at a time. Um, let's see if we can get a second can by eating. Alright, so we ate a can. We have another can. I'm actually kind of surprised. So now we've got two things of water going. This is a little fiddly. I hope the pot holds a lot of stuff. 13 minutes is the boil. Okay, so now it's, um, so it takes 26 minutes for one, about 0.13 gallons. That seems... It seems more than it used to, but I never really memorized these numbers. Um, when you do this with food, apparently you can burn food now, which we'll see if it's uh, tedious or interesting. So, let's see. So when you interact with the fire barrel itself, all you can do is add fuel. Boiled water. So if you wait too long, it boils dry. Alright, take it. So... Well, this is, this is going to be pretty tedious, huh? It's going to be a whole lot of me trying to come up with a ghost story to tell. I suppose what we need one more can, or two will pop. Wait, use? Shouldn't I say eat? Okay. Uh, the fire bell still has an hour in it. Um, I'm going to add so let's take it, let it 
Melt more snow. And I'm gonna hop out here. Uh, let's go get some of that uh, fresh meat and see how cooking works. So the water stuff seems tedious to me. That's my first impression. What's this? Venison. We have a lot of meat. <clears throat> so the idea today is going to be to basically leave Broken Railroad, head back to uh, through Forlorn Muskeg, and then hopefully make it to safety. Hold on a second. make it to safety back in uh, Mystery Lake uh, and look look for a pot. So where are we cooking big food? I'm worried that if I use this it's gonna eat it. Because that's what use means on the other screen. seem to place meat in the, in the cans. This is totally... This is totally um, confusing. All right, so it looks like you just place it directly like you would on a desk or something. It takes an hour to cook this meat. Holy balls. So, Unless I'm missing something, I feel like this stream is going to basically become us sitting and watching fire. Because this takes forever. I mean, we usually cook six or seven steaks at a time. Um, it's nice that we can walk around, but we can only put two on there. And each one takes an hour and 15 minutes. So I... I'm hoping I'm missing something. And that, um, figure out a better way to do this. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's, for the time being, Let's just imagine this is how it works. So, what's our plan? Um, we've got quite a lot of stuff. And uh, we're not going to be able to carry it all. We can carry some of it, but not all of it. We, I know that we repaired some of our clothes. <clears throat> all right, 
but we need we need to repair the wolf skin coat now. So we've got uh, we've got all the ingredients. Let's go stand by the fire. Um, we'll take that. Pick up. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna wind up eating raw meat. I know that. Okay, cook that. Condition underscore cap. Okay. It's gonna take an hour forty two, so if we if we do that, we're gonna burn the meat. Because you can't do half a repair. You can do half of a craft, but you can't do half of a repair. This is gonna be super tedious. Can you wait until ready? How would you even do that? Pass time until ready. Yeah, it burns fast. Alright, so there's, um... Okay. Water. Let's boil water for the rest of the 30 minutes. Well, if, if there's a, a wait until ready, um, I think that's going to fix most of the most of the issues. Um, the hard part is going to be to try to <clears throat> leverage the ability to walk around. Um, so, for example, we could put we could put uh, two stakes on and then read an hour, and and that that one hour of reading should be should be done before the stakes are cooked, and finished. Cooking. So we could save. You know, we could double up some stuff like that. But. Uh, Sketchy. I really thought this would be more like you could season your your steak with some herbs that you pick up or something like that. That's what I was expecting from this crap, uh, from this uh, patch. And if you season it well, it provides more food or it has another buff or something. So slow. Add a stick because I don't know if this is better. or what happens if it doesn't finish. Okay, take, take, pick up, pick up. All right, let's repair our coat. Fire will die, but that's okay. Uh, and with that, I think our clothes are good. Beautiful. So, yeah, honestly, we could repair those two. We probably should before we leave. So let's. Do one more sweep to see what else is. Uh... Oh, that's actually almost done. Ninety-nine percent. Okay, we'll, we'll come back for the saplings too. So 
So we might leave tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Uh, not sure what else there is to do. Sadly, we probably don't want to carry meat. I... I was hoping to cook all this. Maybe we'll start another fire. Alright, this one's supposed to be clothes. So... Okay, we're good there. This one we've just about filled up. Okay, let's put hides and guts in here. Oh, the tin cans actually are in your inventory. And they take up weight. Interesting. Alright, pull the guts out. Let's get some cloth and repair those things. So, uh, we can't carry out all this cloth anyway, and we might as well repair it because it seems that that's what the wolves go for first. <coughs> Don't want to lose these things. Okay. And we haven't gotten a level 5 on mending. still leveling up. We could if we have a deer pelt, I'll probably repair that. Um, because carrying a deer pelt back is probably not gonna work. Uh, yeah, so these are wasteful in terms of Material, but I, I don't care. So, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. I'd love to carry the gun back. Sadly, we do not have another deer belt. I would gladly waste it. But we could repair our bedroll. Using up all the stuff. Oh, we failed. Using up all the stuff uh, we can. That, that way we won't have to carry it. Uh, 76%. Pretty small amount of weight that we're saving. But, you know, that's four cloth right there. And uh, we've got 100% of that cloth. It's getting pretty late. Maybe we won't leave tomorrow. Maybe we'll leave the next day. Um, 
we have tools I can repair this. I can sharpen our weapons and then leave this here. That's it's only a fifth of a pound. Um, but we have I might just leave this hatchet. I guess we'll have to see how the weight works out, but I think I think I'm gonna have to leave a bunch of stuff. I think you might be kind of running by when I do it, but there's probably enough in there to, to cook at least a few more steaks. I grab the deer because if we do if we do bring meat, it would be deer. Um, it has excuse me, more calories. Per pound. <coughs> oh, beautiful steaks, beautiful steaks. trying to find the fire barrel again. put the two steaks on at the same time, you should be able to wait until done, and hopefully this process won't take a long time. I have to figure out this radio menu because it, uh, there's a lot of like click and hold, uh, and then figuring out which menu to go to that I'm not used to. So let's just pop that in there to start with. I'll probably burn up this fur. We don't um, we left the, we don't have a hammer, so it's not really to use it for. Let me go ahead and just put a lot in. I'm not too tired, we'll leave tomorrow. So, food. Let's cook quite. Like, I don't see the deer. Oh shit! So I just ate raw meat. Um, uh, I really question the the UI abilities of Hinterland. This is this is super tedious. So okay, so space and hold. Go to food. Left click. Choose a meat. Right click. Left click. Okay. Space and hold. Go to food. Left click. Choose a food. Right click. Position. Left click. What a pain in the butt. All right, and then left click, and then space. So they've added like. 
20 more clicks in order to cook your food. Don't. Does not get the sucrose thumb of approval. Instead, it gets the thumb of disapproval. Hey, Delvina. Welcome. There's, uh, there, there was a patch today, and they changed how food works. And we're trying to figure it out. I just ate some raw food. Raw meat. Um, it's not exactly intuitive. So you go space, left click, right click, left click, space, left click, right click, left click. Then you go left click, space. That's how you cook food. <laughs> it's like they didn't even try it. Uh, I don't really understand. Who thought this was a good idea? Uh, and you, there doesn't seem to be any other way to do it. I really don't know. No, yeah, it's neither fun nor intuitive. Space. Left click. And you, you can only see these nine items. I don't know why that is. Right click. Space. Space. Food. Right click. Space. Left click space. They, this is their idea of uh, making the game more interesting. I I don't know. This has been this is this patch has been six months in the in the, in the works. And if you left click here instead of right click, you eat the the raw meat. Okay, but you can't right click when you're supposed to left click because then you drop it or something. I don't know where it, where it went. Whew. So we've got, we've cooked all the meat finally, but it didn't take too long. <laughs> but it's uh, kind of ridiculous. So then, uh, to make water, it's even worse. You go... Where do you go? You go to light sources? No. You go to camp craft, recycled can, left click. Camp craft, recycled can, left click. Left click, and all you can cook is 0.13, cook. 0.13, cook. And left click, pass time until ready. Take it. Take it. Left click, cook. I'll tell you one thing, I won't be able to talk while this is happening. We're just going to use up the fire, which is, uh, let's see what happens when this. Um, when the fire di dies out, just non potable water. All right. Twenty two charcoal. All right, bedtime. So, yeah, like I said, we'll spend one more day, um, because we're definitely not ready. Where am I going? <clears throat> we'll spend one more day in this lovely little garage with this lovely little corpse. And then we'll go back home today.
use up all this wolf first. I, I don't understand why they changed the name of this from eat to use. Maybe it's a... I saw that they messed with the internationalization stuff. Maybe it has to do with that. They somehow made the word more generic or something. I don't know. Yeah, instead of drink, you use water. Maybe she's taking a bath, I don't know. Um, let's see if we can make a pot, since they've added pots. Nope, you can't even forage a pot. <coughs> So I guess we have to find one. Um, the tail is not pot. Although I don't understand why you put boil water in the tail. Okay, so the deer, uh, not the deer, the pelt is cured. This, this hot, this deer hide's not going to be. I might carry one of them back. I'll, I'll leave it all to be I I don't know if uh, uncured deer hide has a smell. Probably the only way to find it out is to pick up a bunch of uncured hide at the same time. that away for later. We'll try eating through this today. Put away the non potable Can it make story mode better? I think this is a 100% survival mode patch. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make a joke. And I, I'm not exactly sure. I feel like it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Because if this is their idea of survival improvement, is by making uh, the water and cooking more tedious, I'm not sure if I want them near the story mode. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh... Alright, so today we're going to finish getting ready. It's harder to survive. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. <coughs> it's harder to survive. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we can put pelts. Here. Oh, we, oh, we have a cured deer hide. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and do our pants. I mean, they're they're 84, but this means that we'll have 100%. Um, and even though it's wasteful, we we sort of don't have to carry that high because we're probably not going to come back here for a long time, probably before we die. So it's wasteful. You can hate me for it, please write a comment. Send it to your local representative. I don't really care. It's wasteful. I don't care. <coughs> local or federal representative. I'm even going to repair these. What do you think of that? It's pretty wasteful. Sounds like a blizzard. I 
sure am glad. And inside, can't wait to go traveling tomorrow and have to deal with this again. Alright, so just sitting here, we're already above weight. The question is, is, is going to be, what do we bring back with us? What's up, Melvin? coming out here into the wilderness is to get these supplies that um, thought I heard a wolf. I really don't want to shoot a wolf in here. Uh, as I was trying to say. Part of coming out here is the sound is so bad. Like the sound is messed up? Or the. It sounds like a horrible storm. I'm, is that what you're saying? like louder than me or I mean <laughs> I feel like it should be it should be loud but not louder than me things I find pretty easy to leave here, although I'd like to take them. Um, I'd like to take these climbing socks, I'd like to take... Uh, yeah, I'd like to take these two tubes and the ear rat. The snow pants. You're still turning it down. The problem is if I turn uh, if I turn the sound down when it's quiet, it's going to be too quiet. I think. Um, I, I think it's a little bit discongruous simply because we're in side, but it's an outside inside. Normally when it storms like this and we're outside and we're <clears throat> we're in this it it almost feels nice that it's loud and annoying because it it's kind of like I feel like we have to talk over it um it feels more real somehow but also I don't hear exactly what you hear my volume is slightly different um So yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think what I'll do, I'll just, I'll leave it for now. This is how it's always been for the stream. And I'll listen to it afterwards. Um, because when the weather's nice, the game is actually really quiet. All right. <clears throat> so back to inventory management 101. 
Um, okay, so what I have in my inventory now represents most of what I want to, or want to carry. But, uh, obviously... Obviously, this is a lot. Um, and I think we might just have to make <clears throat> some sacrifices, so... We have these three hatchets. If we run out of hatchets, um, I can come back here, but I probably have not gone to. So we'll put in the shitty hatchet. <clears throat> this cloth... It's nice. Uh, I would throw that away first, maybe. Not, not first, but definitely consider throwing that away. Wait. Okay. This metal is really heavy. And there's a lot of places we can get metal. <coughs> uh, but if we follow the right path, which is dangerous, going through Forlorn Musket, we can drop this metal off at the forge. Is it, is it worth risking possibly dying? <coughs> Probably not. We can come back here for, for the six metal if we need it. <coughs> Hold on a second. Okay. The flashlight seems nearly useless. Uh, it only works during auroras. But, I i mean, okay, we saw this when we came in, right? They hate the light. It's got to be the high beam on the flashlight scares off animals. But you can only use it during the aurora. Uh, at the same time, if we're traveling and there is an aurora... It'd be nice to have a flashlight. So, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, we're... We're gonna have to make some serious concessions. So, I wanted to bring the Storm Lantern back because I don't think we have one in Mr. Lake. Uh, but if anybody remembers, let me know. Same for a hacksaw. I don't think we have a hacksaw in Mr. Lake. And we can get this uh, metal bat. So this is... We don't need this traveling. I'm just bringing this to, to have one in Mr. Lake. Seems like it's probably not worth it. Oh god, I forgot about the food. So we have all this fantastic uh, Food that we've managed to find. Not to mention the meat. That puts us at 112 pounds. We can still walk. Um, you know, it's conceivable that we travel like that. I'd hate to. Uh, but at the same time, I think we know the way back, right? It's just follow the railroad. We can do it in a in a GIF. had some really close brushes with depth coming in. So I'm going to take five cloth. 
bring five cloth, just so that we can make a snow shelter. Um, I'm going to leave another hatchet, and that's kind of sad, but um, we have all these wet seeds. This is the hardest part of the game, right here. If we can finish reading this book, we can drop the book. That's a, that's a pound. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, it's just an hour. Um, I've had one of these books that takes like 20, 25 hours. All right. This storm, imagine if we'd been caught out in the storm all day long. I'll tell you one thing, we're not going to travel with any meat, but I'm going to keep eating. I'm going to keep eating it until we leave. I'm going to leave a bow. We, we have a lot of uh, maple saplings that we could actually make more bows from. I don't know if you're still here, Delvina, but we came to this region not knowing what it not was what was here, and uh, we actually got caught up in weather like this on the way, and managed to find basically like a little an area between two stone two two mountain walls. And we made a fire. And that, luckily, I had enough firewood that uh, we didn't freeze to death. And then, just about, just like outdoor, outside of the gates of this place, um, we had another storm. And uh, it was pretty touch and go. But we made it. got lots. I mean, we're rich. We're rich. If, if there were traders here, they would say, oh my goodness. Sucrose, he's... He's a very rich person. Hey, Jess Beer Beer. What's going on? Stupid storms. What's... Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where if you can't, if you can't find... If you don't know where you are, if you can't find a good place to make a fire, you freeze. It's bad news. Bad news, bears. Speaking of bears. Sorry, hold on. Got a bit of a frog in my throat tonight.
What's going on, Just Beer B? <clears throat> I don't know if the probability of the game is such that after there's a storm, there's less chance of having a storm. Um, but let's hope because uh, I think we're ready <clears throat> to make the final decisions. So I, I need to pop in here. We're at basically 100 pounds. The only stuff... Oh my gosh. Let's get that lantern again. The only stuff I haven't picked up that's not nailed down is those last few uh, saplings. So let's get them in so that we can really accurately judge what's going on. And we're just going to leave all this. I, I can't carry these. They're renewable. So it just doesn't make sense. Um, Alright, so say goodbye to our maintenance shed lifestyle. It's pretty nice, except for the wolves. Um, it was good to us for the last few weeks. Goodbye, Shed. That's what you're asking yourself. What's up? I don't know. Well, that's rough, man. That's a existential quandary. What's... What's, uh... What's the haps? Is that an easier question? Alright. I really want to bring the storm lantern, but good god, are we overweight. Um, some of you might say, leave the cattail stalks. And to you, I say, fuck off. These cattail stalks are the best part of the game. And I know we don't eat them. That's not the point. The point is to collect them. Uh, Alright. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to leave the snow pants. Now see, this puts us, this sets us up for an interesting story arc in the future. We have snow pants. We're never going to wear more than one pair. But if we ever need another pair, why are they so heavy? Are they still wet? Let's say our snow pants are destroyed. How are they still frozen? Oh, we slept. We slept um, outside last night. So they're 2.2 pounds when they're not full of water. Yeah, I'm still going to leave. Um, at some point in the future, if a wolf destroys our snow pants, we'll have to come back here and get some more. Oh, Jesus Christ, Just Beer B. That's horrible. Um, I'm ter terribly sorry, Jesus. Is, it, is everything okay? I mean, <clears throat> I may, I mean.
yeah that's playing a game doesn't seem all that uh, uh, important compared to stuff like that or is your is your brother okay I mean, did, did you get to the hospital? everything works out for, for you and your family. I'm not sure there's anything I can say to, to help. That's a, that's a terrible, a terrible thing. I'm sorry for, for you and, and for your brother. Um, I hope, hope he gets the help he needs. Um, yeah. Well, everybody, if you have someone in your life you care about, you should talk to them. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, all right, we have so much food that I'm not going to carry any meat, despite the fact that this makes me cry. We're going to leave all this beautiful meat here. Uh, but the good news is that we're actually down to 88 pounds, which I feel like is travelable. Uh, it kind of makes me want to take some more stuff. Because I kind of, I, I think if we just go, just don't stop, not even for a wolf, we can make it back today to Mystery Lake. It's very early. We follow the railroad. We can't get lost. So... I would like I would like to take these nine pounds of things right here, and that puts us up again near to a hundred. So the question is, you know, I think what's what's more valuable, uh, antiseptic stuff. food. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, I, ho I hope I'm muting the, the correct channel there. So some people might think, you know, oh, well, food is basically renewable because you can get deer. And that's true. Now, antiseptic is not renewable. <clears throat> um, I 
I'm gonna take the axe. Puts us at 91. But I'm gonna consider going. So it's actually it's actually still pretty dark. Uh, so let's give it another 30 minutes or so. Oops. <clears throat> you should try to eat first. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, but it because it dehydrates you to eat me. Let's get another hour of sleep in. We could leave this early. That would make sure we have enough travel time, but I think it's best to be able to see. Okay, we're totally topped off. Alright, we are in go mode here. Um, so goodbye maintenance yard. Uh, may someone stumble upon this meat and feast. First problem is our wolves. We must have killed 15 wolves in this region. Maybe they're extinct. But once we get out of here, the problem is mostly going to be weather. And, uh, I'll let my water go down a bit, and then I'll drink some coffee. Um, in this patch, I don't think I don't think they've really changed the wolves in this patch. Uh, I only sort of glanced over the patch notes, read through them quick. The wolves uh, during the aurora are stronger than usual, but as far as I know, that only happens at night. Um, but uh, all I was saying was that the, that yard where we've been shacking up probably has the most wolves I've ever seen. We killed wolf after wolf after wolf after wolf after wolf. <clears throat> the wolves came in pairs. Uh, and waited their turn to, to get a bite. I saw a little post on Reddit that suggested some AI changes to the wolves that sounded kind of interesting. The idea that they have like a timidity or fearfulness um, concept, like that would be part of their model. And so alone, if you're looking at them, they'd be fairly scared, but in a pack, they'd be more aggressive, um, or if, you know, if you were wounded, they would be more aggressive, that kind of stuff. Um, if you weren't looking at them, they'd be more aggressive. Uh, I think I see... Okay, that's a rabbit. I thought I saw a wolf in front. Nope, that looks like a rabbit, too. So... We got a fantastic start here. Very nice and early. It's not cold. Good weather. Uh, I still don't really know what this is for. I don't think we managed to get in it. It's just a thing. It's just a thing that's here. It's 
is fine. It just trans island line. Oh, we're on an island. Um, I guess I'm just worried about missing loot opportunities. <clears throat> so to remind ourselves, myself. I think this is going to be it's going to be like a rock slide, and we have to go to the left and come back around. What's that? Oh, nothing. And this water. How many sticks do I have? Two sticks. There's so many things that I wish could be added to this game. Like, your footing should be more sure on this railroad than on the snow. Um, different boots should affect your chance of turning your ankle. Uh, just all sorts of little things like that. Having to click 20 times to to boil water, that's not really on the top of my list. Um, I am wholly unimpressed with the quote cooking update. I'm not sure what they think of it. Maybe it's, maybe it's better if we find a pot, but so far, no bueno. <laughs> All right, so here's where we need to go down and then come back up to, to go get away from this. Uh... Oh, look, little furry friend. So, gonna try to juke him. Hopefully, we don't have to shoot him, but I can't really run. Can't run. So it's going to be tough to uh, lose. Him. Um. Now the other thing they added in this patch, they, they did fix a lot of bugs. It's not like this patch is. waste. Uh, but they also added a new region. And it's uh, it's accessible from the mountain town. And uh, I, ha I do know the mountain town somewhat. Um, the only way I know how to get to it is from Mystery Lake. So we might head there next. Um, I know there's a lot of wolves in uh, mountain town. Um, but we can check that out and then head to the new map. And that, that's that's sort of my medium term plan here. If we, if we don't die, make it back to this really. The new map apparently has no indoor areas. How do I, how do I get down? Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, no indoor areas. I, I assume it's. Uh, that would be difficult. Now this is the area we got trapped in that blizzard. Um, we have to go by this wolf. So I want to go up there, and the only way uh, the only way I see to do it is to uh, is, is to travel here and go left. So, I don't want to just, I don't want to stop and wait, so we're just going to go. So let's figure out where he is. 
Don't see him, that's not good. Or maybe it is good, maybe we can escape him. He's scared. All right, let's take advantage of that. Can't run, but uh, going to waddle. Oh shit, don't come here, don't come here, don't come here. Not good. No, 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 no. So here's the thing, when they're scared and then they come up to you, they can forget being scared. So, yeah, he ran, he ran away from us to where we were going. Great wolf. Here's the railroad again. Is it right to call this a railroad? Out of fucking nowhere! Two wolf bites. He, he, and he's running by me. He bit me in the neck. No afflictions. Our clothes are decent. So... I don't even... What, whatever. The wolf was scared of us. He ran to where we were going. And then... Stopped being scared. Came out of nowhere. Should have just shot him. I think he went this way. So they can attack you again, even after they're wounded. Um, you might see him limping, but if you go up to him, or if you happen to turn a corner and they happen to be standing there, uh, they'll eat your face. So the blood, of course, is going where we're going. But there's the exit. I know I, I want to eat the wolf, but I'm, gonna, I'm better than that. Oh, Jesus. He did a lot of damage. So that's kind of concerning. We're at 62%. Um... My initial reaction is I should have shot him. But you never know. You know, I could have shot him and, and wasted that bullet or two bullets and still gotten attacked. He, he really went this way. Why did he have to go the way that we're going? Well, there he is. Um, we did best him. I don't, I don't think it really makes sense to stop. We've got tons of water. The only thing that I'm thinking is... Uh, It might make sense to sleep, just to get condition back. Because if we get attacked, if we get attacked by two wolves, we're almost definitely dead.
beautiful day, sun in the sky, we can absolutely make it home. Assuming we don't get eaten. I don't, I'm not, I don't even need to use the coffee. We're going to go straight. The railroad track. Keeps from getting lost. We haven't actually followed the railroad track all the way. So it could veer off or have some kind of a break or something. Go into a lake. Just like it did in the other region. But we'll cross that uh, road when we get to it. So before that wolf so rudely interrupted I was saying can you call it a railroad? This isn't a railroad the, the concept like you know, the company, the collection of all the trains and all of this rails. Are they just called rails? I don't know. I don't know these things. <clears throat> this could turn into a blizzard. see any movement. Um, my aunt, when I was really young, she had a railroad that went behind her house, and I mean right behind her house, like you could just it was right there. I shouldn't be doing this, but... I always liked it. You'd go by, you know, we'd watch it. Really loud. <coughs> In uh, college. Man, this cough is, uh, is killing me. Hold on a second. Uh, in college, I lived small cattails. <laughs> um, let, let's let's leave. If we if we were to actually have a blizzard right from here, there'd be nowhere to make a fire. So I kind of just want to go. Um, yeah. So my freshman year, the dorm that I lived in. Was, uh, was also next to a train track. This train, there was two. Tra there were two train tracks. One for express passenger trains. Oh, hello. So here's the brake. Of course, it's got to have a brake. This. That's interesting. sensitive to noise. I don't like noises. But the train I found to be quite soothing. You know it's you know it's gonna end. Trains don't go on forever. So you just kinda it's almost meditative. It's just like alright, well here's a train. Can't stop the train. Just 
the thing that's happening. I thought I saw something. Oh, well, shit. So... Oh, there's two wolves. So there's one on the left and one on the right. This could be the end. If both of them attack us, we could die. If I go to the left, which looks like to be the way to escape them, who knows what we'll run into. We might fall through the ice. Let's see. Okay, probably saw a little weak ice message. So we could go this way. So that's where we stayed in the cave. And we can hug that wall. I think that that's our best plan. We saw all sorts of stuff over here too, but we have to avoid those wolves. Um, we might head to the cave. sure if we can cross anywhere. Can't run, so that makes weak ice even more dangerous. So what we've done is we've traded wolves for a chance of getting lost and the chance of falling through the ice. A lot of this food is going stale. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope this isn't weak. Whew. Okay, I think I see the the train cars. So we're not that far from the entrance. Uh, but we've got a hill. Who knows what little monster could be on the other side of this hill. I shouldn't be picking up cat tails. But you can't just leave. Cat tails are actually the most lonely of all tailed plants. Hi, JP. Welcome. What day? What difficulty? Um, we are at 123 now. The difficulty is custom. It's based on stalker. Uh, all the wolf and animal behavior is stalker. But we took out uh, a couple of things I think are annoying, like cabin fever, and, um, yeah. Things are looking a little dicey, actually. We're trying to get back to Mr. Lake, and we're, we're at 60% health. Let's see if we can cross here. This looks kind of big, but... Okay. 
right. I think we'll just stay here at the edge. How are you, JP? Um, yeah, we're carrying back all of our spoils. I'm searching through Broken Railroad, and uh, so we're quite burdened. Just trying to make it back to Mystery Lake. warm. Hey, yes, Manius. Uh, yeah. So they've... They've changed the way you make meat and water, and we played with it at the beginning of the stream, and I would say it's a it's a negative change. Um, it's incredibly tedious. Um, unless I'm unless I'm just not understanding what you're supposed to do, it takes about 20 clicks to do anything. Um, things that used to just take one or two clicks now take uh, an inordinate amount of clicks. And if you click wrong, you can do all sorts of stuff like eating raw meat, which is what we did earlier. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'd say thumbs down to the cooking changes. Uh, otherwise, they added a new map, which we're setting our sights on. So. The medium term plan, if we, we make it through this, is to go to Milton, the mountain town. Um, and then the new map is somewhere, or access somewhere from Milton. I, I purposefully didn't look at the details, so if anyone has the details, don't let me know. But I know that it's attached to Milton. The, uh, All right. We've seen plenty of wolves over here, so let's hope uh, we don't see any more. These cattails are going to kill me. I just keep adding weight. Um, let's see. Other than that, I only noticed some, like, <laughs> they changed the button where you eat something from eat to use. And uh, the same for drink, which I think has got to be a bug. It seems like such a stupid thing to do. Why would you call it use? What, what are we doing here? 93? Okay, it's not... I mean, that's terrible, but that's not terrible. Terrible. What's going on, Asmodeus? Oh, the other thing is that uh, cooking requires you to carry around cans and, uh, and or a pot. We don't have a pot. Um, you can only, in each can, you can only hold 0.13 gallons of water. And each of those 0.13 gallons takes about 10 clicks. It's really ridiculous. Um, but as hard-headed as Hinterland is, I doubt it's going to change. They're gonna say no. This is this is difficult. Clicks are hard, and that's what we want. It's tired fingers. Tired fingers makes 
entire characters. Yeah, it's it's essentially all they've added is tedium. That's it's not entirely true. So there's some strategic element, but I find that strategery to be tedious as well. So for example, you can put two pieces of meat down, start them cooking, and then read a chapter of a book, and you can do both of those at the same time. But that's just really micromanaging. Like I think this game needs less micromanaging. Do they have to be repaired? The cooking pot? I don't know, because I, I don't even know how to find one. I guess it's just the cooking pot that you see on stoves. So we'll have to check um, some houses. But uh, the cans, I think the cans need to be repaired too. They have a condition. They also have weight. Um, I think you get a can every time you eat canned food. Uh, yeah, all in all, it's just a, it's just disappointing. I thought it was going to be like you could gather wild herbs and there's recipes and you could. All right, I see a wolf here, so we'll head off to the right. You can't cook without a canner pot. You can cook meat, but you can't uh, boil water. Um, I'm not sure. I think we started with a can, so maybe they just gave it to us. I don't know what happens if you lose your can. I have no clue. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Wolf is well to the left, so we're going to go... Maybe try to go back on the river road. Luckily the temperatures look good. Um... I'm not really sure how the fire works. Like, so you have to place. You know how you can place items and decorate your. Yeah, I, I think I ate a can of peaches, and I got a second can. All right, I see cattails, but I'm gonna ignore them. Can we make this? Be out of here soon. All the snow is starting to uh, wet our clothes. So yeah, I assume every time you eat canned food, you get a can. I, I don't, I don't know that for a fact. Um, the patch notes weren't very specific, and so all I know is what we were able to figure out. Um, all right, I see the lines. Let's head back to the lines. Scan it for movement. I'm worried about the hill on our left, but Sounds like a new song. Oh man. There's actually mods that do that for people who want that. But uh, yeah, I think it would be tedious. Like like I said, I think the game is already tedious enough. I kinda I don't like the inventory management stuff. Uh, it's just there's too much of it. This game is best when you're out like this and you're worried about dying. Alright, we're very, very close. So, at this point, all I'm worried about is wolves because the weather is not going to be a deal. There's the zone.
bit of a detour, but we juke the wolves. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I found out recently as much as I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, it's actually more weight efficient to carry fuel in a jerry can, but you can't actually directly put fuel in a jerry can. If you have a jerry can in your inventory and you produce fuel, either through cooking fish or through deconstructing lanterns, uh, it will go in the jerry can. But there's no way to actually pour fuel from bottles to jerry can. Uh, and so what people do... Is, uh, is they'll take shitty lamps and they'll fill up the shitty lamps using the little squeeze bottles. And then they'll deconstruct the lamp to get the fuel into the jerry can. Like, that kind of tedium needs to be removed. Um, but that's not Hinterland's priority, I think. So either, you know, either balance the weight so that that's not a concern, or make it so that you can freaking squeeze bottles into a jerry can. It's just small stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. Oh, shit. Looks like we just made it in the nick of time. So from here, we know there's, there's always that one wolf that uh, patrols. That will want to try to avoid, but um, you know this is looking pretty good. It's a it's a good thing too because we're below fifty percent um, rest, which means our our max carry weight is going down. So the blizzard is actually good for us, I think. Because it means that wolf won't be here. I mean, I don't think so. I can't imagine the wolf attacking us in this. So we're gonna go straight to the. It's this is and this is a blizzard. We're gonna go straight to the um, the office. Our clothes are so good that uh, they're barely cold. Oh, it's supposed to say. Oh, they've changed the look of campfires. Now they have uh, rocks. What the hell was that? Well, I'm kind of freaked out. I'm just like, what was that noise? It sounded like a tree falling. Sounds like light, a uh, thunder, you know? Oh, the sound is fantastic. Delvina was saying that uh, the storm, these storms are too loud, and when you're in them, I really like, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm in the storm, and I'm trying to speak up over the storm. Like, I, it feels more real to me, I, I don't know. It's exciting. It's going to be so misquiet in the doors. Uh, okay, here's where we turn. <laughs> you don't like it? Even when, even out here in the 
in the deadly cold. Like, look, it, it just got triple digits. This is, this is killer weather, except we're, we're just, yeah, it really is. It, it's getting absolutely worse. We would die out of this, you know? Um, except we're, we're where we want to be. And we're, we're going to get in uh, just the next time here. stuff we've got, hammers and whatnot waiting for us. I'm, I'm glad I didn't take the storm lantern, because we actually have, um, actually have two here. Um, all right, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Think about heading to Milton. Um, now, the only way that I know how to get to Milton is through a cave near the Trapper's Lodge. Um, and it's quite a journey. You have to climb up two or three ropes. You have to climb up two or three. So we'll definitely have to pack light. But yeah, the next stop is Melton, I think. Um, un unless, unless there's a reason to kind of kick around. I mean, we'll definitely spend a few days here. Um, but I think adventure is our destination. So Milton, and then uh, when we're in Milton, we'll look for this new map. Check that out. Start putting stuff away. Oh. So our tool box. Make a little tool tank. I mean, a tool shelf over here. So yeah, the, the um, all I know about the new zone is that um, there are no indoor locations, or or if there are, I don't, I don't think there's any. I think there's none. There's no indoor locations, so it's definitely a hard zone. Um, I think there's caves and stuff. But uh, it's kind of weird. There's no way to rotate. This is tedious as fuck. Um, I much prefer keeping things in a box because how do you tell what condition these hacksaws are in? You can't look. They're all identical. You have to click, wait for this to, to come up, and uh, and try to remember which one is which. It's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> but we ran out of space, so. All right, let's get these saplings on the floor drying. We've actually got a bunch of cured ones here. Man, what a storm. Alright, Esmodus, I probably won't make it there tonight. I will probably go to the Trapper's Lodge and, uh, and stop and uh, just start from there another time. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for dropping by. Cured green. Drop. They still haven't fixed this bug. Uh, 
cured, cured. What should we do with all these things? <clears throat> we'll have to check our aero condition, our aero uh, situation. Because we could go make more arrows and then forge. We actually have all the tools. got to do is something else. Let's take clothes. goes in here. Probably could have come up with a better breakdown, but you know what? <clears throat> That's fine. Alright, so we have to go up here for clothes. Thirty-three. That's pretty good. Um, honestly, it might make sense to put like cured things up there. I think thirty-three should be in 
enough space. Just so that we have it, you know, we can look at it, count them. You don't get a number when they're all laid out on the floor. And so it's hard for me to uh, abstract it. God, I'll leave you. Everything but the God goes upstairs. Probably don't need more deer or wool. Right, that's a lot tidier. So now we have this whole thing that we can put stuff in. What are we trying to fit in? I think just like. Use the antiseptic while we're in this area, just because it's so heavy. We'll use it first. so that they don't stack. Uh, apparently this also is okay with Interland. Same with um, antibiotics. Alright. This is the fire chest. We're going to remove all this newspaper. That for now. Let's put uh, matches. Uh, this water. We are out of space. This chest is broken. 
mostly the cattails. We have uh, 160 cattails just here. We probably have another 100 back in Coastal Highway. Um, let's call it 200 at 150 oops, uh, calories per pop and 2,000 calories a day. So that's just 15 weeks, 15 days, two, two weeks that we can just sit and eat cattails. Which is what the last stream of this game is going to be. We're going to eat 200 cattails and then we're going to uh, jump on the cliff or something. Uh, because the tedium has gotten to us. Uh, but I don't think we're there yet. We have stuff to explore. So let's... Let's get ready for that next trip. Um, <laughs> I don't know which bedroll. <coughs> it's going to make sense to take. You do want to be light. What are we going to do with these cattails? I think that's it for containers. Right? There's only three containers up here. Yeah, this is the the reason why I don't like to live in a camp office. Um, is it, there's just not enough storage space. Sometimes a corpse will spawn here, and he can hold ten pounds, which is is kind of terrible. But it's like, oh, it's another. Another spot. Okay, let's put non cattail based food products in here. Floor, but I'm worried that putting 163 things down the floor is going to mess up. Preparation for grand scheme. <coughs> uh, do we have no bullets? Out. Speaking of bullets, we're going to do a little. Should be able to uh, destroy this laptop. Just like move the laptop. Um, I think there's mods for it. At least for moving furniture. Maybe, maybe not the laptop. I don't know. Okay, we're, we're getting down to reasonable. Um. 
forgot to put the cured sticks in the cured chest. So I might have to take all the stuff out of the cure just just to put the cattails in. Many can I put? That works for me. Uh, we'll put the remainder downstairs. But, you know, we'll take some out if we have to. But. Starting to feel like we're moving fast again. So I'm going to get out all the shitty food that's kind of. Uh, not ready to go. That's going to be eaten first. Um, should have just drank the soda. So let's see if we've left ourselves anything outside. Let's actually, just because, for whatever reason, she uses the knife instead of uh, crushing it open. Uh, even though she's got five bubble puff cooking. So we'll grab a can opener so that we can get some dog food. Very good. Very, very good. Now we could just sit. I like that. Just hang out. Uh, let's make some bandages, unless we have some. Do not. To, to, to leave. I'm just kind of, I'm still putting stuff away. Uh, we're definitely going to stay here for today and uh, probably the next couple of days. 
haven't decided yet. What I want to do is find a, a, a pot. But I'm not sure where in this region to find one. Maybe in those little cabins. So that's what I want to do. Looks like we get a can each time. Um, where do we put leather? <clears throat> I guess, uh, oh, there's this. That's right. Okay, so we still have, uh, we still have 11 pound storage spot. So I'm gonna put this in here. This is basically gonna be repairs and some crafting chest. That's the name of that. Down to 43. And unless we change out clothes, that's pretty much what it's gonna be at. I don't. I guess they go. I guess they go on tools. I really wish these cans stacked. That kind of annoys me. Put them in tools. Uh, we've got. So one, two, five, six, seven, seven arrows. Let's put I'm just putting the good ones in because I'm not going you know on any kind of great thing. We just need to get that arrow hit. Uh, put that in there. Put the thing that uh, forty one. that's where we want to be. Um, it sounds pretty windy, but as long as it's clear, I think we'll be fine. Um, here's what I'm going to do, just in case we don't find a pot to make this uh, useful little trip. Bring the hacks off and uh, we'll gather up metal. And that way, if we want to use the forge in Forlorn Muskeg will have a supply of metal ready to go. And let's see, the only other thing is because we have no meat, I'll probably shoot a deer if I see one. Hopefully not a wolf. Look at that. Right in front of the house. Oh shit, that went up the hill. Okay, that hit him. Uh, but it may, it may have been a glancing blow. So the wolf killed our deer, which, if we get to him fast enough,
Man, I suck. Okay, so I, let's. We expect to break these because we shot shitty ones. Let's get this arrow. Um, perfect. Well, look at that. We got all our arrowheads back. <coughs> And we don't need anything but me. Obviously, could have done a better job shooting. Not 100% sure we got one. It's, it's really hard to, to keep it in mind. Five. I think we had five of them set out. But see, the thing is, is it's like, at least I panic. Maybe it's not panic, it's just a journal. Hey, Rage Not! Haven't seen you in a while. How's it going, man? Uh, but that adrenaline kind of messes with my rational decisions uh, and being, being able to count things and stuff. Uh, I'm not playing the new auction. No. Um, I keep thinking I'll start one, but not yet. I, I probably wait till it uh, is official. I don't really like playing the betas. <clears throat> What's going on with you? Yeah, look at all that. We're going to be eating like a queen. So, okay, let's take stock here. I think we might have to grab some more arrows. Because we broke three of them. Instead of taking them apart, we'll do that later. Have you, uh, have you played it? Um, I, I mean, I play, I play whatever. I play, uh, all sorts of stuff. Colony builders, uh, are big, but I definitely like survival games. I like platformers. We were playing Castlevania 3 from Super Nintendo the other night, and uh, we did all of um, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight was great. I really like Shovel Knight. Probably do more platformer stuff. What do we got here? Just reads. Um, yeah, I've, so I've, I did a Seven Days to Die screen a long time ago, but uh, there really aren't a lot of good survival games. Seven Days to Die is good. But like the forest, ah, it's too. It's too 
not enough about surviving. Uh, but yeah, I like to play all sorts of things. Uh, are you not into this, Rage Knot? Nothing in sight. You. Conan Exiles? What's that? Is that an MMO? It's a survival game based on the Conan, 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 Conan the Barbarian. I haven't, uh, haven't heard of it. Do you like it? Oh man, it must be popular. Uh, it's going to be lighting up the block sphere. All right. So our goal here, if it can be even considered a goal is to find a cooking pot. Um, I don't know if these little cabins would contain a cooking pot, but I'm thinking they might have like a hot plate. This one does not. Um, but I said that I get some metal, so let's get some metal. Not sure if Conan Exiles is TOS Terms of service friendly? You don't think it can be streamed? Does it have some bonin? Uh, because if we say it's educational, I don't know. I mean, people play Witcher. I don't. I think. I don't know. I hate the situation with the terms of service stuff, but they're probably not going to come after you unless you're getting naked or, or playing a porn game. But see, even even then, I feel like you should be able to play a porn game. Right? You just don't be misleading about it. Uh, label your stream as mature. Um, a lot of those porn games are just like the same as mobile games, you know, kind of like a time sink. Male and female nipples, sausages and beans. Beans? I've never heard of sausages and beans. <laughs> I get what you're saying but bone in with Conan that's pretty good Delina like that's pretty good I'm I'm gonna give you 20 internet points for that Heard it in a nineties comedy movie. I wonder what movie said saucers and beans. I mean I, I like I understand it, so it's kind of like I guess it makes sense. But it also kinda of doesn't. Beans are really small. You know? I mean beans are too small. Um and I'm not bragging, it's just how it is. Even like a large lima bean is not big enough, you know? Don't, I don't see any hot plates. Hot plate, hot plate. How are these people eating? Kiwis and bananas. That, yeah, that sounds a lot better. Especially since kiwis are hairy. 
There's something about Mary. Okay. I've, I've seen that, but I don't remember. Um, I do remember my dad liking it, so I think that that makes me instantly not like it. It was, it was, he's, he's got a very juvenile sense of humor. Uh, huh, little paintings up there. I don't see a single pop. Where would a poppy in this region? So maybe in the trapper's cabin. It's funny, Andrew, Val. There's something about Mary, you mean? Did we ever read this? I think, I think we read that. We've read that. Alright, last... It's not the last chance. There is one more cabin. But I don't see... Anything that looks like a pot. Well, like I said, there's one more cabin. This one, I think this one is bigger, but I might just be misremembering. I think it's just a lot. It has a cute song, if you ever meet a girl named Mary. Like, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? with silver bells and cockle shells. Pretty maids all in a row. Looks like we've got a wolf. A little wolf situation. He's walking away, though. He's turned. There's the cabin. Oh! There's a bear, also. Um, wolf's coming this way. So, I'm just gonna, just gonna go inside. Okay, no pot. So there's the there's the the dam. The dam has a lot of stuff in it. That might have a cooking pot. Um, and the trapper's cabin might have a cooking pot. But we're gonna go to the trapper's cabin in order to go to Milton. So I think what we wanna do is just check the dam first. Um, I don't have a bedroll, so I'm not going to do it from here, and I think it's going to be too late when we go home. But, uh, yeah, so let's head home and cook food using this great new system. Mr. Wolf is on the middle of the lake. Mr. Bear is on the middle of the lake. Let's go around both of them. You like Cameron Diaz for this one while she's playing in every movie. I, I'd get Cameron Diaz and Gwyneth Paltrow confused. I have to say. Now that might make me racist, but it's a fact. It's a fact. Gwyneth Paltrow and Cameron Diaz are twins. She, 
shit, the bear is kind of walking with me here. Um, where does this go? Is this nothing? This is just a dead end. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't watch Vanilla Sky. I liked the Spanish version better. Or Mexican version. Um, this is, this is a little iffy here. So we're gonna try to cut behind the bear. He, he doesn't chase you, but he will come after you. And... Hopefully avoid the wolf. Maybe we can go up this mountain. You disagree with the world about Vanilla Sky or about Cameron Diaz? Oh, we are stuck. Okay, we cannot go up. Abre los ojos. I, I see. I didn't even know what the real name was, but I, I definitely saw it with subtitles. And and then I started to watch Vanilla Sky, and I was like, this is terrible. And I think I, so. I don't like Tom Cruise, but I think Tom Cruise is a good actor. But I wasn't. I didn't really like it that movie. It's probably because I saw the other one. But you're not sure that's title just say it a lot. Yeah, I don't think the title is literally the Vanilla Sky. Abre los ojos. We avoided the wolf. Oh yeah, then you're just... Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, you're just wrong. have something to read. Otherwise, I'm not sure if there's anything we can do uh, while we cook this food. Los ojos del, 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 de. All those little endings always trip me up. I... I wish every language would adopt words instead of endings, English included. I'll accept maybe consistently adding something, but I, I prefer if they just add words. Can't really remember Gwyneth Paltrow. Del is just a combination word. Um, okay, let's make... Is that all the wolf? That was a small wolf. There's got to be more wolf. There you go. Eh. Okay. She's an Iron Man. Pepper! Pepper pot. Okay. So we've got a very, fairly okay supply of wood. I, I'm not even sure. I'm I'm just saying things that are funny. Pepper pots. Pepper. Pepper. Pepper pots. It's like Peppa Pig. Is it Peppa Pig? I wouldn't put pepper on pork. But that's just me. Um. We only managed to get five scrap.
Alright, so for those of you who haven't seen it, we're about to look at the new uh, cooking update, I guess. I'm, I guess you can cook on this fire. I don't know if different fires matter. Uh, I don't know where you put the meat, except on top. Is that how stoves work? I don't know. <clears throat> now, at home, don't put your wood right next to your fire. That's dangerous. That's just a, a word from the wise. Let's see if we can actually cook them. So it goes space. Left click, right click, left click, left click, no, left click, right click. That, I don't think that's cooking. So you can only cook one piece of meat on the stove. That sucks. So there's a stove upstairs. That I think has two slots. Pain in the took us. I mean, it's, oh my god. I guess at least it makes like, like if you get that big cooking grill that's in some of the big houses, it makes that useful because you, you have four grills, but it's so annoying. Don't have any books that we can read. Don't really think there's anything we can do. Uh, all right, so we'll wait. So I'm going to take a little more wood. Um, and we'll head upstairs and use that stuff because I think there's two, two burners. It's not even burners, it's just that there's two spaces. I don't see why you couldn't put three pieces of meat here, but whatever. All right. Not sure if we if we're at level four or five at this point. It's starting a fire. But I'm starting to think that we're going to uh, just level everything. When Patrick was in seven, like the move with Brad Pitt. See, if you could click these, that would be okay, but you can't. So, space, left click, right click, space. Left click, right click, click. This is Brad Pitt's wife. Brad Pitt has a wife. I mean, I guess he has to, right? Because the whole, the ending. I mean, I just don't remember her at all. I don't remember the, the wife. I remember Brad Pitt. She, is she important? I feel like she's kind of not. She's like a MacGuffin. She's like, the important thing is... Brad Pitt. 
and his relationship with his unborn child. But that's not really about his wife. Uh, I I don't think so. I don't think I have Rachel. Huh? Um, yeah, this whole thing is goofy. I can't I can't make water. All the meat's gone. anymore. There is one. That's it for the meat. So let's make... How do you make water? Not and drink. Can't craft. Click. Oh my god. They've got to change this. This is ridiculous. Alright. Click space. Take it. Click. Click. Um, I meant to use all these sticks. So what sucks about this is I, I, I can't take a break. I have to sort of pay attention to it. Usually this was a time when I could uh, sit back. So I'm just going to waste time. Um, I don't remember Friedman's relationship with Diaz. Diaz is more shining person. Oh, you're saying the difference between Diaz and Paltrow. space here. can't hit enter, but that, that requires me to take my hands off the keyboard. Or the mouse. The, the UI is a mess. Some places I hit space to confirm, but I can't hit space to confirm here. It's all ad hoc. Oh shit. Well, that's that's all the water we're gonna make because I let the fire go out. And now I have no idea. Can't even find the. Oh, there's the window. Okay. Whew. really unpleasant. Wait, what? Zero gallons? Wow. 
why is it zero gallons? That's weird. Did a whole tin can of water evaporate on the, uh, overnight? Oh, yeah. This is, how did they go six months and then release it like this? It's ridiculous. I guess they said, let's just get it out the door because we're tired of it. I, I don't know. Uh, all right. So, venison definitely goes storage. Water is certainly more valuable now because it requires so much tedium to get. Um, let's put so I think today, and this this is probably the last day or two, so maybe. 30 more minutes. Um, we'll head to the uh, the dam. To try to find a cooking pot. Because maybe that'll make things better. Maybe we can boil more than 0 0.13 gallons of water at a time. I don't see where the... So this is in my inventory, but I can't actually put it anywhere. So... I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to put it up here, because it's buggy water. Uh, now I thought about a really sad movie with Cameron Diaz as the main character. If she could play this right, it could be a good movie. So as the happy person that gets fucked up by some bad situations. Um, I'll, I'll call her and see if she's interested in doing a movie, just be good. Realizes that life ain't no petting zoo. Um. I guess it's full. Alright, I'm going to leave all the rest of the food. I'll take uh, five of those bad boys. Alright, so I'm going to put things away. We're going to hop over to the dam. Hopefully hop back. But... Uh, it is, it's kind of getting late. We dilly-dallied. Making on the stove. Um. Okay, we put that away. Um, I'm not going to hack up any Lars von Trier. A nymphomaniac? How does that follow? Okay, so... Cedar. I'm also going to bring Oh The only I feel like the only Lars von Trier movie I've seen may not actually be by Lars von Trier 
but it was maybe about, or it was in his style or something. I don't know. There was like five small little scenes, and I didn't even see all of it. All right. So we're just looking for a curtain pot. No, nothing else. Maybe there's one here. No. All right. I feel like I should take this bad boy. Info on the Antichrist. It's a yucky day. Let me use some water. Alright. So we're going to take this route. I think we're going to take this new path we learned to try it from this side. Um, and the idea is if we don't find the curtain pot, we'll probably get five or ten scrap, and maybe we'll stay the night. I, yeah, I haven't seen any of these movies. <clears throat> the, the, I'm trying to think of the one that I'm talking about. It's like the, it's got a weird name, but I think it's by another director, and it's very, it's very meta. I can't, I can't remember what it is. But it's about it's just five scenes, five little movies. It's something. something, something. I don't know. Had good luck with making it through here without a local pack. But I think our chances are better than taking the railroad. So I'm pretty sure that both of these paths, one is to the left and one is to the right, they both lead to the same place. Um, but I'm going to take this one. Because we haven't done it in this direction. it would be very difficult to play this game if you didn't have some sense of direction. Um, because even though there's all sorts of stuff that is pretty different, it all does have a bit of 
sameness to it. You know, rocks and snow. It's like if, if all the rocks look the same to you, then it's gonna be hard to figure out where you're going. So we should see a bridge on the right. We also usually see a wolf patrol. Um, That's the that's where the other path brings you. Okay. There's the bridge. Okay. So this is where in the beginning we kept being chased by uh, wolves. We couldn't escape those trailers over there. Now there's a wolf. I was just about to say, since I don't see anything, I think we should go under the bridge. But of course, uh, there's a furry stalker. And stalker. So let's head to the dam and maybe reach. So I don't have any decoys. And I'd have to go around them to get to into the trailer. Let's see how that would work. So the worst affliction torn clothing. Ah. And again, I hit him in the back. But he didn't die. I don't I don't know what the problem is. I I got to shoot lower, I guess. I don't see the arrow. Oh, the arrow could be stuck in it. So we can't fight another wolf. He'll, he'll almost definitely destroy this. Pain in the ass wolves. Let's, let's go on a trailer and hope we can get some cloth um, to repair. Oh, oh we've uh, we left this stuff when we came in, saying that we would take it back out. Is there really no cloth? I mean, there's beds. How can I not just take the sheets?
Trius E trilogy. I don't, I don't know what that is. All right, we got some, some fall. Six fall. Getting kind of late. Right. There. It's gonna take a long time because all we have is a fishing hook. But these two pieces of clothes are worth it. All right. Oh my god, that wolf destroyed our clothes. Not literally, but figuratively. So higher percent chance of repair, repair time decreased. Um, item condition increased, effect of sun get wear though. Those are all good things. Um, don't see anything else in here, but we got a good, a lucky find with that uh, cloth federal. So, so my idea is, if it doesn't get us into any more trouble, to try to find that wolf and get the arrow back. Is it worth it? Probably not. But honestly... Yeah, we, we worked hard to make these heroes. Um, follow the crows. I think there's a human body over here, so it might... That might be the human. But let's see. Might get lucky and we'll collapse just here in the middle. I think it's a human. Don't hear any more crows. I think we'll maybe just chalk that one up as a loss. But we'll keep an eye out for crows, and you're out, I suppose. That other one, that's that's alive. So that's the one we saw. It's probably been too long going inside and preparing that we've won't see a blood trail. <clears throat> he took off. He took off that way, I think. We'll see if. I heard the thought I heard more crows, but you hear a lot of things.
But it's true, those the I, I hate it more when the wolf hurts my clothes than it hurts me because I can go to sleep. But the clothes can't sleep. Here's a destination. There's got to be a pot. I mean, if, you, if it's possible to find a pot in, in a save that existed before this patch, this place has to have a pot. It's got three floors of junk. And we left the storm lantern. We could... We could light a flare. We could light a torch. Um, but it's early enough that I think I'm just going to... to do a, a look-see. My idea is that we're looking for one of those burners that I think they're like... I think they're hot plates. Um, like, like, like this. And I sort of expect that sometimes pots spawn them. Um, So much metal, though, I can only imagine if you, if you hacks all this up, maybe hundreds of um, metal. People talk about the finiteness. It's true, it's a finite amount of metal. Um, except for the, the stuff washing up on the shore. There's so much. So let's see, upstairs is an office sort of thing. Let's give it a once over. to get to but if you go through the dam sort of area there's all sorts of stuff on the ground we, we can make a I assume we can just make a fire there's a fire barrel down there if we have to we can find it. Uh, we can make a fire and pull out torches. So now we can sit. I guess we don't need the bow. <laughs> it's actually pretty well lit during the day. So... And we've we've pretty much looted all the stuff, which is why I'm not looking. 
Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Right, through here. Now, I think this is dark. <clears throat> There's a little bit of light. Now, this is where I think we have the best bet. Got a sink. That's kitchen light. Come on. Hey, we got some peaches. Um. Search this very carefully. It's probably running out of light. I've had that uh, that peach song stuck in my head for weeks now. This is another burner, but uh, no pot. I also want to grab some cloth. I think we've got enough after this one. I'm not sure how we got so tired, but I think we're going to have to. Outside, it's pretty light out. Um, I guess I would like to tear apart some some metal stuff, but the the metal is actually quite heavy, so. I probably wouldn't want to carry it back to, say, the coastal highway. 
but we are in a perfect position to carry it to the forge. That's in. Forlorn musket. So. Probably mentioned it the first time we were here, but there used to be a chance of a wolf spawning in the dam. Uh, did you ever try to stay awake as long as possible in this game? Um, not really. So, I mean, once once your tiredness reaches zero, she starts taking health damage, and she'll die. Uh, it doesn't take long. It's like two days. She'll die in two days or something without sleep. Uh, pretty unrealistic. Just sleep right here and sleep through the night and then walk out. So hopefully I can stumble around and Well Jesus, I, I thought it'd be a little warmer. I mean brighter. But uh I'll just sleep where we stand. But, uh, yeah, so just be a bit that there's this scummy sort of strategy some people use where you don't eat, you don't drink, um, you don't sleep, and you use that time and, uh, and resources to be, to do something useful. And then you eat, sleep, eat, drink, and sleep all at once. And so you recover your health and you actually use fewer calories, and fewer uh, gallons of water that way. But it's it's really scummy. It's like I feel like it's a bug that that works. But it's a pretty effective strategy if you're trying to. You know, beat the game as it exists. Which some people think that's how, I mean, that's how you should play the game, right? Like, we've, we've gotten this conversation before about speedrunning. and abusing glitches. And a lot of people think that it is fine. And there are people who think that it isn't. I thought there'd be mountains of pots here. stay awake. <laughs> Alright, it's about noon. I think I can do you know, a couple more. Let's do another big take.
Just want to know what's possible. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of... stuff you can do to, to game it. That's interesting. Yeah, so when whenever any of your gauges, so like right now we're about to be hungry, whenever any of our gauges turn red, go to zero, you start taking health damage. And even if all your other ones are 100%, you, you do not regain health, you lose health. So you have to keep everything above zero to, to get health back. <clears throat> and that's that's the tricky thing. So if you're out in the wilderness and you can't sleep and you get tired, you'll die. Uh, that's the kind of thing that winds up killing. I'm gonna leave this hassle. Right, so if we ever come back, we'll have a hacksaw. That way, I you don't know, have to carry it back. We have two. It makes sense. All right, let's. Um, I'm gonna save this in case we need it. Otherwise, let's just book. Let's book it. Get home, and we can eat our wolf and deer. All right. All right, good. Looking good. Windy, but visible. I, I want to find that arrow. But I'm not going to be too crazy. I hear wolf. That one's scared of me. How does he see me from so freaking far away? Is he gonna run to me as being scared? <laughs> please don't. Please, please go away. Why? Why? Why would you run to what you're scared of? Jesus Christ, it's like a, a bouncy ball. Like, pick a direction and go. Why would you turn around? Fuck it, I'm just running. So I wanted to go that way because that's where I think the wolf might be. The dead one. Good lord! That their AI, that's what they should be working on. Let's take a peek up here. If, maybe we'll take the railroad I don't know. So, uh, this is where we had our memorable first encounter with the wolf. We came from over there and I said, Oh, look, it's a train. Let's go investigate. And the wolf just came to attack.
Could have been us. I think that's the same set of crows, so where that wolf died, I have no clue. Um, I'm not sure if we ever got to search this. I think we did. I wonder if I picked up the bedroll. Um, we're not too worse for the wearer. We lost an arrowhead. Tore up some clothes. But it's no big deal. The worst thing is that we still don't have a pot. Uh, if we don't find one in the trapper's cabin. Surely we'll find one in the mountain town. Because there's lots of houses there. Um, it's a really great place, but lots of wolves. And I'm even considering carrying the rifle, even though it's so heavy. I, I don't think I will, but so many wolves it's like that. Just have to get better at shooting. In the head. I think I see a wolf on the tracks up here. Just too surprising. It just crested the hill. What's the opposite of crested the hill? He, he just went over. Uncrested. But yeah, I think he said that. There he is. So, stay over here. Hope for the best. Two. Two wolves. Three, three wolves. No. Well, I think this is this is my lesson. From now on, we won't take the river with that. Um, because while the other might have a wolf, we're not going to get this free. I really don't want them to come over this hill. So there's house.
It's so steep. seen it in a while, so I don't really have a good concept of it. Really might be. We're hungry. Safe and sound. We finished the wolf off. Oh, these do have 89%, so they do seem to degrade, which is kind of weird. So, if if the cans degrade. And eventually you run out of canned food. How do you make water? There's no way, there's no action on the can. You can't turn it into metal or repair it. So unless you can repair a cooking pot, They've just limited the game. Because eventually you'll run out of cans. That seems... I feel like we're missing something. Like we're... Figure something. Um, should probably just wait to this the line. Actually, it's really late. I mean, it's really early. Grab. The lantern so that I don't bump around in the dark. And uh, 
for repair the Mets, I suppose. I'm not sure about the boots. I, I feel like I don't want to waste cured leather. Um, I would. I don't feel bad about wasting deer. What? So deer, so we head upstairs. We just need one piece. Put out the light. Okay, that's not putting out the light. Okay. 100% on the mitts. These mitts. So I guess they attack the outer layers first. Um, actually, that can't even be true because this is the inner layer and this is an outer. I know it says inner, but... The ones on the left are on the outside. So you can test that. Let me show you. So protection's 37. Right? I'm just going to swap these by using it, okay? Oh, you actually can't use that on that okay. Well, I can't show you with that slot. But there's only one thing in that slot. Okay. then I, I can't make a point. I'd have to have two toques of different conditions. Or two different hats of different uh, waterproofnesses. Alright, everything else is decent. Anything else that we're wearing. Okay, so okay, I never know when I'm carrying it or not. These two things, the reason I brought them back, you know, the reason I care about them is because they represent cured leather. Um, and actually, now might be a good time to tear them up. You don't need um, light, I don't think. It takes a long time to tear apart a pair of shoes.
so right so the next immediate the next goal is to go to the trappers cow it's not going to be today Looks like we'll have to cook some more. So I think I think this is a good place to rest to, to stop. So the next time we start, we'll prepare the trip and uh, get to the lodge and head over to uh, Milton, or at least try to. It's a, it's a pretty rough trip, so I don't think there's any reason to do it in a hurry. There's multiple rope climbs, like I said before. And a lot of wolves. So whether we carry the rifle or the bow, we'll want to be prepared. Um, so yeah, that might, it might take a couple of days. Might wind up making some arrows based on arrowheads. We might put it off and do a forge trip. Um, because when we came, I, we probably, we probably don't need to. I'm trying to remember how many arrows we originally brought from... Uh, from Coastal Highway. And I'm sure we brought a lot. Too many for what we had in mind. What we thought we were going to do. Um, but now it looks, you know, I'm pretty glad we did. So... So yeah, we'll we'll see all this stuff, make some arrows, count things. Um, it'll probably take two days before we do anything. But I'm gonna call it quits here. So thanks for uh, for hanging out, checking out this new update. And um, yeah, I hope uh, hope to see you again. Have a nice night.